I'm here to give a quick demonstration on how to measure the amount of chlorine residue in our drinking water. This is a very critical test during public health emergencies, particularly during cholera outbreaks, to ensure that people have access to clean and safe drinking water. I have with me here a poo tester, also known as a comparator, which is used to measure the amount of chlorine residue in our drinking water. On my right hand, I have with me DPD-1 tablets, which are used as a reagent when testing for the amount of chlorine residue in the drinking water. And on my left hand side, I have with me phenol red tablets, which are used as a reagent to check the level of pH in the drinking water. I'll now demonstrate to you on how to correctly perform this test. We first start by opening our comparator. We then get our water sample and fill in the two compartments, the DPD and the pH compartments, with our water sample. I have now added the water sample in the two compartments, as you can see. I'm now adding my DPD-1 reagent into the chlorine residue site. So we have to make sure that we carefully open our tablets and ensure that we do not have or touch the tablets to avoid contamination. So as you can see, we add our tablet here. I will now add my phenol red tablets to the pH side of the comparator to test for the pH level in the drinking water. So I have my tablet there. Once I add my two tablets, I then close the top of the comparator with this lid. Once we have closed our lid, we then tilt our comparator from left to right gently until both the tablets have been fully dissolved in the water. Ensure that you do not shake the comparator as this will introduce air into the two compartments. As you can see, the tablets have been fully dissolved in the water sample. So on my right hand side where we are testing for the chlorine residue, we can see that our water sample has a, a reading of between 0.3 to 0.6 milligrams per liter, which is within the permissible limits by the Zambia Bureau of Standards. Moving to the pH level of the water sample, we can see that our water sample has a reading of between 7.2 and 7.4, which is also within the permissible limits by the Zambian Bureau of Standards for drinking water. So in a nutshell, this is basically how we test for free residue chlorine in the field.